Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for everything that you've done for us, Lord. And we ask you, Father, to touch us, minister to us this evening, Lord, as we come before the people with this inspiration, Lord. And we ask you, Father, that your spirit and your anointing will go into every home, every every person that's watching, yes. either by TV or, or a laptop or even by telephone, Lord, by their cell phones. I just pray, Father, that your spirit and your anointing will touch everyone, even as we come before your throne now, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Heal everyone that's watching. Touch everyone that's watching, Lord. Minister to everyone that's watching. Yes. Thank you, Father, that we are coming out of sickness and disease, and we are free, free, not bondmen. We are free in the spirit, Lord. Thank you, mighty God, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Everyone, just welcome to this inspiration. We are at home, once again from home.
anointed us to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent us to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, the recovering of the sign to the blind, to unstop the deaf ears, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, to bring freedom, Lord God, to bring a, a pain that has pained us for so long, to be pain free, to be healed by the power of God. The blood of Jesus be upon us tonight. Everyone that's watching, everyone that's with us, and the blood of Jesus is applied. We know our sins have been washed by his precious blood. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. It's found in uh, Galatians. Brethren, Galatians 6, verse 1. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, you which are spiritual, restore such a one. In the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone, and not in another. It's only you that can do these kind of things. We can't love someone through someone else. But we can allow God to love people through us. Because we are the written epistles known and read of all men. We are the ones that stand in a gap for our brothers and sisters. Those that are hurting right now, Father, we just we stretch out our hand to them. People that are in pain tonight, Father, that you would touch them in a miraculous way. Lord, let us channel your power through us right now and bring healing and deliverance to the captives, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Flora for healing. Uh, she's uh, getting test, test done on, on dialysis. Father, we just pray for Flora. Father, everything is possible with you. you. With man, it's impossible, but with God, all things yes. are possible. Mm -hmm. And I pray, Father, for her right now, that you'll touch her, minister to her. We send the healing power. Mm -hmm. We send the angels over there. We send the peace of God to comfort her, Father, and be with her tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Amen. I believe it's done. There's many things that we can pray and ask God for deliverance, and God will do it. He's always there for us. He's always on time. And that scripture I want to share is um, uh, Philippians chapter 3, verse, verse 27. For indeed he was sick, nigh unto death, but God had mercy on him. Not on him only, but on, on them also, on me also, lest I should be sorrow, have sorrow upon sorrow. He was nigh unto death, but God had mercy upon him. That's a very powerful scripture right there. He was nigh unto death, but God had mercy. You know, we can pray to, for people. We can pray the prayer of faith. But sometimes a man's job, a man's hour is come for them to go. I pray for our brothers and sisters in New Mexico that have received word that one of my good friends have gone on to be with the Lord. And our prayers are with you. The Spirit of the Lord God be upon you. Let his anointing touch you and minister to you even this night. We love, we love our brethren. We love our brothers and sisters that have fought the faith. They have fought a good fight. They have kept the faith. And now their journey is uh, to the heavens, 
to be with the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We love you. In Jesus' name, our friends in New Mexico. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. There's a song that I was thinking of. Um, it's just right over here. Um, honey, could you help me find okay. this song? Which one? It's just called Gathering Flowers. Okay, I'll look for it. Okay. It's right here. Oh. It's not far away. Thank you, Jesus. I just found it here a little while ago. Mm -hmm. There it is. Okay. Um, I want to dedicate this song to our friends in New Mexico. I know there's been a lot of... Oh, 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 oh,
praise the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We love him so much, and he's done so much for us. Amen. He's created the heavens and the earth and the land and the sea are his. Even this land that we live on, it's all his. He said, silver and gold is mine. The silver and gold is mine. We see all these people digging up a lot of holes looking for gold. But it's his. It belongs to the Lord. And that's one thing we know. And we need to ask the Lord for favor in our, in our lives. Not everyone prays every day. Not everyone gives thanks every day. But I want to thank God for yourselves, for to thank God on your behalf. Just write me, Jim Felix underscore, Jim underscore four five at hotmail.com. Jim underscore Felix underscore four five at hotmail.com. You can also send a, a love gift, if you like, by eTrans to that email address that we have. I just love the Lord for, for everything he's done. It says, I have this in, 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 in my house, this word right here. It's Colossians chapter 3. It said, let the peace of God rule your hearts. Let the peace of God rule rule your hearts to the which also you are called in one body and be thankful let the peace of God rule your heart sometimes we want to looking for peace asking for peace but when we get a hold of God let his peace rule your heart let his peace rule your heart calm down settle down and let God's peace rule your hearts. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns, spiritual songs, singing with grace in our hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Everything that you do, give thanks to the Lord. He's the one that's pursuing to the Father. He's the one that talks to the Father every day on our behalf. And we need to give thanks every day. You know, let the word of Christ dwell in us richly.
go to that promised land Dr. King preached about. We're going to that promised land. We're going to the place where there's no need for the sun and the stars or the moon. For Christ Jesus will be the, the Lamb that will give light to the whole place in heaven. I'm looking forward to that day when we get transformed. In the power of God, and the, the dead in Christ shall rise first, and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be with the Lord. Amen. said, so comfort one another with these words. My brothers and sisters, I comfort you tonight, telling you that we are alive and remain. We'll be caught up together with him to meet the Lord in the air. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so glad tonight. That the Lord God of Abraham has given us an opportunity to come by way of air. You know, through, through, through the Facebook uh, live streaming, we're able to come and minister to you tonight. Thank you, Jesus. I love that. Praise the Lord. I just want to encourage you tonight not to give up, not to give up the fight. You know, but uh, to, to, to encourage yourself in the Lord, your God. Not to be afraid. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because the Lord is coming soon. Amen. One more scripture I want to share with you. It's found in uh, Peter. 1 Peter chapter 1 uh, verse 6. Wherein you greatly rejoice. Though now for a season. If need be you are in heaviness through manifold temptation. You know, these temptations and these hard times we're facing right now, they're, they, they're here for a season. And I want to encourage you that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory. Praise, honor, and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. These little trials that we're facing right now, they're not, not worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. You know, we're just young men, young men and young, young uh, women of God that are out there preaching the gospel. I encourage you.
Jesus. We just pray for our brother Haas, my, my dear brother. We're going to stretch out our hands on this, uh, on this uh, site right here. And everyone that's with, joining with us, stretch your hands out to Brother Haas. Amen. We're going on live right now, live stream. We just pray for our, uh, my, my, my nephew right now in the name of Jesus. God, we just thank you, Father, that all things are possible with you, Lord. Lord, that it's enough now that a fire and a power and the anointing of God is sent forth to carry the kettle tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God, that you will touch a, a son daily tonight, O oh God. Touch him with your power, with your spirit, that you will be free tonight. Free in the name of Jesus Christ. We just thank you, mighty God, and we just feel the power of God, the anointing of God, stretch forth your hands, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Jesus. And Cecilia from COVID and sister-in-law passed away two days ago. So I was so sorry for the loss. They said, Cecilia from, from COVID, uh, in Jesus' name, we pray for this family, Father, that you will touch them and minister to them and bring healing and deliverance yes, in their lives and their homes, oh God. Yes. Father, their hand is not short that it cannot save. Neither is your ear heavy that it cannot hear. But we pray, Father, that all instant, miracle-working power of God move supernaturally through this valley of, of decisions, this valley that's bound by alcohol and bound by sickness and disease. We break its power and its hold in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I believe that. I just thank God that all things are possible to them that believe. Thank you, we are not going to give up. Thank you, we are going to keep the fight of faith. Thank you, if I have hands to pray, I've got ears to hear, eyes to see, and a mouth to speak, I will continue in this gospel of Jesus that is so powerful and real in my life. And I believe it's that real in your life as well. I just encourage everyone that's watching, just keep going. Keep, don't give up. Just keep going for the Lord. Amen. Here you go, my. Amen. Mm -hmm. And we thank you for, for tuning in again. We love you, and we just, I just want to pray for everyone that's listened in and watched but every Thursday night, we try to make our very best time for this slot, for us to be Thank slotted you, in, in the time with God, a time with you all folks, a time for us just to connect and be one in the spirit. And I just pray, Father, tonight for everyone that you minister to them, that your power and your grace and your mercy Touch everyone that's watching. Minister to them, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We call upon your name. That's your name that we need to hear in these lands. Thank you, Jesus. And Father, my wife and I, we pray and we agree, agree tonight as if two of you shall agree. Thank you, Jesus. That it's done tonight, oh God. In Jesus' name, Thank you, amen. Jesus. We love your people. Special people, we just love you. One more. And we thank you. Yes.